Hey guys, Lasona here, and welcome to Should You Play. This week's title is Oxenfree, a new release from Night School Studios. Oxenfree is Night School's freshman release, but this game plays like it was designed by a studio with an immense amount of experience. Oxenfree tells the story of Alex and her teenage supernatural adventure on Edwards Island. Alex has come to the island with a group of friends, and they unwittingly open a doorway to somewhere that is definitely not Edwards Island. What follows is an incredibly entertaining, albeit short, tale of a young woman and the choices that she makes. I was actually going to do a Let's Play of Oxenfree, but within the first 10 minutes I decided that this was a game that everyone should have their own experience with. The game touts a color-coded conversation system, and each option you pick furthers the conversations with your companions in a different way. Pick a mean option and you might get a mean response. On the other hand, diffuse a situation with kindness and the person you defended will remember your actions. Dialogue between the characters plays a huge part in Oxenfree. There are times that I found myself wandering away from the clear place I needed to go just to hear the characters joke or bicker with one another just a little bit more. Here, check this one out. Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. It was worth it. The voice acting is superb. It has some big names attached to it, including voice actors who worked on Telltale's Tales from the Borderlands and The Walking Dead, along with Tomb Raider and both Borderlands 1 and 2. Mechanically, the game is very sound. Alex's primary tool is a radio that she uses not only to uncover backstory and the history of the island on which she is trapped, but to communicate with the entities she has unleashed on Edwards Island. While I did find myself occasionally wandering, it's normally quite clear on what your objective is at any given moment, and also quite easy to get there. I'm being purposely vague here. I'm trying really hard not to give too much away, because the enjoyment that I derived from this game came purely from the fact that I didn't know any more about it than what I've just told you. Although Oxenfree is short, it's around four hours if you blow through it, I was completely enthralled with it the entire time. The thing is, games like Oxenfree aren't normally for me, but even so, I enjoyed it immensely. So, what's the verdict? Well, because of the reasons I listed above, I completely recommend that you play it. Thumbs up, Oxenfree. Oxenfree is out right now on Steam, Xbox One, and the Windows 10 App Store. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Lasona here, and we will see you next week on Should You Play. Wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town.